everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun double Z-fold wiper card. So it folds down to 5x7 size, which you have here, and then when you pull it apart, out pop April and her twin. April is what I've named this really adorable giraffe, which I just absolutely love. And it's just a very fun interactive card. You've got lots of space on the back there to be able to stamp and write your message. Now this one is using some of my new collection and this is the Amazing Animals. So you've got your A5 stamp set there, so you can see the giraffe, and then I've used the leaves here. I've got some masking in there where I've been doing some other cards, and you've got all those lovely sentiments. And then the die set is this one here. So it will do the Z fold for you. You've got the yay, it's your day die, which you'll see I've used there. And then you've got the wiper element as well. And then the paper pad is this one here, which is the scenes paper pad, and I've used this one in the background there as well. And I've coloured it all using my coloured pencils, added a little bit of sparkle on the sentiment there, which I think is just kind of catching the light. And I've also put some glossy accents on the centres of the flowers there as well. So once again, there it is. So let me show you how to make this really fun card. So first of all, you need to die cut the main card. So I'm gonna be using this green colour, and this is the large one here. And I'm gonna die cut that one onto this piece like so and then also the kind of the, the bottom Z fold part is here. This is the back, this is the front. And then I've gone ahead and cut that pattern paper using the matte die, so it gives you that perfect matte layer. You just want one piece for the back. This one here is to create that matte for this Z fold piece here, so it will sit perfectly in that section. And that's just using the bottom part of that same paper. And then you want these pieces here, and I've die cut two, and that's using this smaller one here, and that's for the side sections, which you'll see. And then also you will want two pieces of this smaller one here, which again will give you the smaller mats for that bottom Z fold piece. So that's all of those kind of mats done. And then you will need for this one, because I'm showing you a double wiper style, so you'll want to die cut the mechanism twice. And this is the mechanism with that triangular piece that there at the bottom. You also get a matte layer for that. So if you do want to have, you know, if it's going to be maybe seen, and you're not going to cover all of it, you do have a matte layer that you can also cut in that pattern paper. But for this one, it's going to be quite full. And I'm just going to show you a different way of using them. So that's those two there. So I'm going to get these two die cut. Now, if you don't have a long extender plate on your die machine, it doesn't matter. All I'd recommend you do is just tack it down with a little bit of you know, low tack tape at each end, and then you can just run it through and then just shift it along your plates and run it through the other end and then you've, you've cut it. Because this will, all of these dies will fit through your standard cutting machines. If you've got an extender plate, then okay, it will help. You can just do it in one pass, but otherwise just do it like I'm doing here. And then you can just run it through one end and then run it through the other. Okay, so they're both die cuts. So now we just want to fold and burnish. If you do a mountain and then a valley, so we're actually going to have this on the right hand side and then with this one you want to do a mountain and a valley and we're going to end up sticking that one there and then to there for our Z fold. Okay, but before we stick this piece on it's best to attach your pattern paper so because you can lay this down flat like so. Okay, so I'm going to stick those three down there Okay, that's that one, and then I'm going to do the same with this piece here, so I'm going to stick this one there, you'll see you get that perfect one eighth of an inch border around all of your pieces there, so again I'm just going to stick these ones down. Okay, so you'll have two pieces like this, and then you want to add some glue to the back of this one here, and we're going to attach it down the bottom left hand corner here. Okay, and then I'm going to fold that back and then I'm going to bring this one over like so. It's best to stick it down and that way, you know, when it's all folded, and that way you know that it's all going to fold flat and fit into your envelope. Now with this one here, what I like to do is I just put my finger there at the top, take that away, and I know I need to add my glue all within that area. If you want to pop a little pencil mark there or something just to make it a bit easier, then you can do, but I'm just going to add my glue there and then I can just flip that over just lay that one down there. Now you can add the mechanism before or after. I actually think for this Z fold it's much easier to add it when you've put all this together so we will attach those pieces in a moment. Okay so this now is all ready for us to attach the mechanism pieces. So on the mechanism you'll see there's this score line. You just want to fold 
and burnish that and I like to do it in both directions and what's going to happen is you're going to add some glue onto the top of this we're going to fold it over so it's away from us and then we're going to stick it inside here but it is easy to do if you just pop it underneath because you're folding that piece back you can just see the triangle there the glue's on that piece fold it you know push it down with your finger there and you're going to bring it right up so this flat edge here is in line with this score line and you just want to make sure that you can't see it okay and then when we go to pull that piece back the triangle will stick on that piece there and I just think it's a bit easier doing it when it's all together because you can make sure that it's all hidden and you know that you've butted it right up into that part there but another thing you might want to do and that you can do with these I guess the plates but they're all different sizes within the die sets on the 5x7 and the 6x6 it's a larger I guess area that you can hide the wiper so they're larger plates this here has to be able to fit behind this section but you can still trim it a little bit. Now, you can't trim anything on the left-hand side where the triangle is there, but you can take a little bit off of here. So I'm just going to trim about a quarter of an inch off of both of these, just on that side. But you don't have to. It does still work. We've made it so that it works for that size. But because I'm going to be adding these giraffes onto this and some leaves, just to ensure that it does all hide away, I've just trimmed a little bit off. So I'm just going to add some glue. I'm just using a quick grab glue here, okay, like so. I'm going to keep it folded away from me. I'm popping it underneath there, so I'm just holding it, but with the glue piece facing away there. And then just bring it down and just make sure that that piece is right up, nice and straight. Fold it over. And it's all tucked within this section here. And now you have that wiper pop-up piece. And then next we want to add this one to this side, but this time we want the triangle down, I guess, the bottom right-hand corner here. And you're going to add the glue on the top here, like so. Just going to pop a little bit more there. And then this one, you can just keep it in flat. This is another way to do it as well. I want to show you, you know, many ways. And you want to, we're basically going to stick this triangle into this bit here. So can you see where I've just sat it down in that section there? Okay, and you can see here it's right along the bottom here and it's butted right up to that score line there. Okay, and just sit it there, bring that down towards you. Again, each time you want to just make sure it's hidden behind this section here. Just let that grab. Now you have your second wiper piece that pops up. Okay, so next we can now move on to decoration. Okay, so this is, I call her Jerry the Giraffe. I think she's absolutely adorable and she's from the Amazing Animals stamp set. So I've already stamped and coloured her in and I've added some shine there to her tongue and her eyes and I just think she looks really, really cute. So the idea is, is that Jerry is going to pop out this side here and then Jerry's twin is going to pop out the other side here. However, I would like them to be looking at each other and not facing away from each other. So I'm just going to do some quick mirror stamping. So I've got that stamp set here and I've just got a media plate inside my stamping platform here. And then I've just got some black ink and I'm just going to ink up my stamped image there. And I'm going to stamp it onto the media plate, but you don't want to push down too hard. Just lightly kind of tap until you get a nice transfer onto that plate. Go in a little bit more and you can always go in and kind of darken the you know the black areas or the the eyes any other detail that may have been missed but there you go I'm quite happy with that one there. And then this works best with a smooth cardstock so I've just got a smooth white cardstock here and what I like to do is pop it on the media plate and kind of lift it up like that and then kind of just let it roll down onto the image and then just make sure you get a nice transfer and then I like to roll it back again so just lift up that end carefully let it all roll up and you will have a really nice transfer of your stamped image that you can now go in and colour and you can you know add in any of those little details if you feel that they might be slightly missed now I have already gone ahead and done that one and you can see here again I've just coloured the same way added some shine and now we have two really cute stamped images that face each other so it's a really fun very quick technique so I've got those all ready and then what I've gone ahead and done is I've stamped and cut 
a variety of the leaves. So I've done all of these beforehand because this is going to be quite a full card and then I've also got the daisies here which I have coloured in a selection of colours with little yellow centres and again I just add a little bit of shine inside there but you can see this is the daisy one here that we've used we've got lovely jerry the giraffe there and then this is the leaf here as well for the sentiment i'm using the die that comes with that die set but you do also have all those really nice subtitles there as well i love the galloping by to say so anyway next we want to start building everything so it's up to you how you want to start this kind of card the idea is, is that i'm going to have a lot of leaves all stuck on the front panel and then these will both pop up on those panels there with more leaves around them. So I think I'm gonna start building the leaves on the front first of all. Now what I would say with these is just curl the front. It just adds a little bit more interest and it will just ensure that nothing catches when the wipers kind of fall back down, you know, behind this panel here. Now the sentiment I'm going to use, I'll bring this in now because I've already gone ahead and die cut the bottom part of it. So I'm going to die cut the top in green and I love this sentiment, yay it's your day. You know you can add that to quite a few things but this is the plate here, yay it's your day. So I've gone ahead and die cut it in three pieces of white cardstock and then stuck them on top of each other so it's very dimensional. I do like to have dimensional sentiments, I just think they, they do, they just stand out that little bit more. So I've gone ahead and done that one already but I'm going to die cut that one as well and stick that on top. But while I've got this here, that is going to be in the centre here and it's going to be backed with some green card, as um, sorry, it's going to be backed with some white card stock so you're not going to see the bottoms of the leaves but if you kind of sit it there just so you can see where you can tuck the leaves behind it might help you as you put all this together. So I've just die cut the green sentiment. I'm just popping a little bit of glue just on the back here. You don't need much, just to kind of tack it all in place. And then I'll just show you how it's easy, how easy it is to just back the sentiment just so it pops a little bit, like so. I think that's really, really nice. I'm just going to grab some white cardstock. I've just got a strip here, and again, just add your glue onto the back here. I'm just going to line the top up with the very top of the card, so you're having to cut that piece like so. And you can see instantly how great that sentiment looks against that white. And then I'm just going to come in with my scissors. You could do a border if you wanted to, but I quite like having it cut right up along the bottom there like so. And then I'm just going to follow that along the top. So now we've got a really nice sentiment topper and you could put this on any cards, it's just I think great. So you can see now when I sit that over the top of this how good that looks. And we're going to add flowers onto this as well, so I'm going to grab some glue. You could put some foam onto the back of this if you wanted to, but there's already quite a lot of dimension, I'm just going to stick it straight down. And I want to get it kind of in the middle of that section there. And then whilst that's drying I'm going to bring in these flowers. So I might actually put some foam on these, just so they're kind of lifted to the same level as that sentiment. So I'm going to pop some foam on this one here, and oh, take the backing off, and this one can go, oh, that's still drying, let's just pop that down. I'm going to pop this one there, I like that one, I'm going to grab the purple one. How lovely does that look, ready for our wonderful giraffes to pop up from. So we're going to grab, let's grab this one here first of all. So what you want to do here is when you stick this down, it's going to lay down behind this section like this. But because we've got all the leaves built up now, you know, don't worry if a little bit of the ears poking up because you're not, going to, you're not going to see any of it because of the leaves there. So it's just quite handy to do the, the front first and then add your pop-up piece because you've got a lot to be able to hide it behind. So I'm going to have her, I reckon about there. And what I'm going to do when I stick her down is I'm only going to add glue to the bottom part of her neck because that allows you to be able to build up and tuck things behind her 
even when it's stuck down. So I'm going to stick her down, plus use, using a liquid glue is good for these kind of kinetic cards because it gives you time to move stuff. So can you see I've got a little bit of her ear poking out? I don't want that. But because I've got that liquid glue, I can just push it up and then just push down. And you can see she's completely hidden now, ready for her debut. <laughs> and we're going to build up some more leaves there. Yeah, these things I just absolutely love. They're just so much fun to do. So again, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the bottom there. And I'm going to lay the card down flat and just pop her. Also, you want to make sure they go over the top of the card here as well. So liquid glue is your best friend when you come to making these kind of cards. So again, I'm just going to kind of lightly tack it there and then move that. Oh no, it's completely hidden, so that's perfect. Yeah, and just make sure they're really stuck down, like so. Now, another thing, a few little tips and things whenever you're making kinetic cards, is we're gonna build up more behind her in a minute, but you do wanna put a little curl into her so she's curl kind of curving away from the card, and that way it will help her, again, slide in, because right now she's kind of just catching there, but once we put a curl into that card stock, everything will will really function very well. So now again, I'm gonna start building up my leaves behind these giraffes. And I really, I just wanna get rid of that green on the mechanism, but because I've used the same color, it doesn't matter if a little bit is poking through because it will all end up matching very nicely. So. have your double wiper card. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'll just bring it up a bit closer there for you to see all the detail. And just by, like I said, adding that curl there, it just gives you that depth to the card. You've got all the dimension there with this. I also added some just, you know, sparkle. So you could just go in there, add a little bit of sparkle to the sentiment just for, you know, a bit more added interest. You could add some bling onto this. You know, it's entirely up to you but I do love all the dimension that this card can give you. Just quickly whiz along there now that I've started. And also, if you just die cut this die here that gave you your map for the pattern paper, just die cut it again and pop it on the back and you've got your space there to be able to write your message. That's the finished card and I just think it's adorable. Really did enjoy making this one. So just also want to show you this one here. So it's again another Z fold, but by adding the baseball cap onto April, because that's what I call her now, it makes her a lot more youthful, more younger and perfect for those more teenage kind of cards or just something a bit more fun. And again, when you pull this one out, out pops let's say April's boyfriend <laughs> or just her party friend. And again, I think they're really fun. This one was using the other paper pad, this one here. So it's the party paper pad. And I just love that kind of banner bunting paper there in the background. It really does turn that card into that perfect birthday card. You've got the stripes there, which I've used on the side. And again, I've used those flowers because they're great little fillers to just hide, you know, the, the wiper element and bits and pieces behind. And again, using that yay, it's your day raised up. So I do like them to have that kind of dimension to them. I think it's super fun and again you've got all that space on the back to be able to stamp one of the funny little you know puns that we've got in that set as well. So yeah so two really nice cards there. I hope that's given you some inspiration. This one's obviously very full but you can see there just by changing the colours and just sticking with more of the flowers there you get a really nice card again as well. So there you have it. So that's using the Z fold and making it as a double wiper. So that's using it as a single, it's just the one pop out element. I've actually stuck that one on the front, but this one here, you have the two. They both pop out at the same time and I think they look fantastic. So thank you for watching. As always, all of the supplies will be shared in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.